to stretch that pectoralis minor muscle, what you'll do is stand in a doorway. You'll put your hands on the doorway and just lean forward. As you're leaning forward, that'll really stretch that muscle. You can even lean forward and look up. That'll stretch that muscle even more. You'll hold that position for as long as you can tolerate or up to a minute and then relax. That will stretch that pectoralis minor muscle, pulling the shoulders backward. Oh, great. Now we're going to stretch those suboccipital muscles. I mentioned those muscles in the back. They get really tight and they really push the head forward. So all we're going to do, a couple of things. One is just push your head straight back. As you push your head straight back, that will stretch those muscles. It'll also strengthen the muscles in the front that help to hold your head upright. So you'll push the head straight back, hold it for about 10 seconds, and then relax. Push straight back again, hold for about 10 seconds and then relax. The next thing you'll want to do to stretch those suboccipital muscles is just simply look down to the floor and pull. If you slightly pull to the right, you'll stretch the left muscle. If you slightly push, pull to the left, you'll stretch the right suboccipital muscle a little bit better. So do those two exercises and that will stretch the suboccipital muscles and strengthen the scalene muscles in the front of the neck to hold your head upright. Now we're going to stretch the psoas muscles. Those are the muscles that are in the front of the leg that cause the pelvis to shift out of position and can cause a lot of lower back pain. The first thing that you do is you grab one leg, pull it up to your chest, and lie back. As you do that, you'll stretch the opposite psoas muscle. If you need to stretch that muscle more, you can put yourself to the side of the bed, if you're lying in a bed. Do the same stretch, but with your leg hanging off of the bed. That will stretch that psoas muscle even more. And you'll do that on both sides. You'll hold that position for 10 to 15 seconds, and repeat that 5 to 10 times.